Hello. Today I wanted to talk about one of my favorite authors of the last 30 years since I left the Watchtower in 1987, John Stott, the Anglican clergyman who died in 2011 at the age of 90, has been one of the persons who has enriched my life more than any other modern teacher. He wrote many good books, including commentaries on the New Testament, but one of the most significant things he published was this little pamphlet, booklet of about 48 pages, Your Mind Matters. And it's even more significant now in light of the technological changes that have occurred, it's not, be not before John Stott lived, but during his lifetime, the, the moves, of course, from mass media to personal computers to high-tech online activity has made the place of the mind in the Christian work, in the Christian world, all the more significant in terms of how we ingest Christian truth and how we dialogue with others about Christian truth. John Stott was called one of the most influential people in the world, among the top 100 most influential people in the world by Time magazine about six years before he died in 2005. He had the gift of exposition, the gift of expounding scripture in a very profound way. He, he was able to make the complex truths of scripture and the simple truths of scripture available and accessible to everyone his life touched. At one point David Brooks mentioned that someone had said to him that if there was a Protestant Pope, John Stott would have to be it. David Brooks, you might remember, is a is a Jewish commentator who writes for the New York Times, but Stott was among the men he admired. In this book, I'm reminded, I was reminded the other day when Billy Graham died of the comment Stott had made about Billy Graham's ministry. He was once at a conference in 1970 where Billy Graham was addressing 600 pastors in London. And at one point during the seminar, Graham said in front of the pastors, I've preached too much and studied too little. Next day when Billy Graham was talking to John Stott, he also said that he had heard another famous preacher, Donald Barnhouse, say this, quote, if I only had three years to serve the Lord, I would spend two of them studying and preparing. Stott goes on to say about his own ambition when it comes to raising up capable teachers for Christian ministry. Stott says, I myself have a growing burden that God will call out more men for this teaching ministry today that he will call men with alert minds, biblical convictions, and an aptitude for teaching, that he will set them in the great capital cities and university cities of the world, that there, like Paul in Tyrannus' Hall in Ephesus, they will exercise a thoughtful, systematic teaching ministry, expounding the ancient scriptures and relating them to the modern world, and that such a faithful ministry under the good hand of God will not only lead their own congregation up to Christian maturity, but will also, through the visitors who come briefly under its influence, spread its blessing far and wide. I can say that John Stott has had such an influence. This book was this book, booklet actually came out in 1972, and it was been reprinted many times. And the influence that John Stott hoped to have, he has had over four decades. Your mind matters. John Stott. All right.